Hello guys, James here. Welcome back to episode number three now of my Royal Tutorial FIFA Ultimate Team on the Nintendo Switch. Welcome back if you are uh, a subscriber or watching the series. If you're not subscribed, please drop a subscribe and uh, drop a like on the video if you're enjoying them. Um, I've got plenty more ideas coming up. Uh, it's just trying to fill it in with my in real life schedule. It's the difficult part, but I'm going to try and keep them coming out. And uh, yeah, you saw from the last couple of episodes we've got a Jota uh, in those packs from the SBCs and we sold him for a nice 8.5k there and in this video we have got last week's marquee matchups, we've got this week's marquee matchups and we have got the UEFA marquee matchups so plenty more SBCs coming along and uh, basically on the switch if you are doing a road to glory with no money the only real way of getting packs is these SPCs, marquee matchups, UEFA marquee matchups, uh, and then just the little ones they drop for promos and stuff. Uh, it's just your main way uh, and one of the biggest ways of making coins because if you do these for cheap, um, and obviously, like I've explained before, you try and use as many bronze players as many you can that you've got from bronze pack method. You try and use um, silvers if you have them in your club that you've got uh, that can be used, low rated golds. Um, and yeah, you just want to do that to keep it all these packs churning over. Try and spend as little as you can. Um, some of these we've had, we have had to spend a fair bit, but mainly the biggest thing this year is because there's a lot of non rare goals that were 300 or 350 coins in previous years, they're now 600 or 650, so that does add on a bit of cost. But obviously, if you pack then pack them sort of same players, non rares again. They are worth that again if you try and sell them on or whatever but yeah my biggest recommendation is obviously yeah try and spend as little on the players as you can for these SPCs. So as soon as they come out like marquee matchups on a Thursday don't try and rush them and do them that instantly obviously if you've got the players in your club pop them straight in and see how far you can get um, and that's what I wanted to really talk about is that when I do these unless I get a player worth more than sort of 5k i'm not going to sell him because it's just not going to make that much difference to your club to try and get like a few hundred coins for these gold players maybe six seven hundred even a thousand like i think on the switch where there is less of a player base less players on the market i think it's more valuable to keep them in your club until you need them for spcs so you can just go and do them because you've got to imagine on the other consoles there's a lot more players so when there's specific SPCs where players go up because you need them for an SPC there's loads more players playing the game there's loads more pack getting opened and that means the players that are specific for the SPCs don't go up as much because there's just a higher obviously there's a higher demand but there's a higher uh, production of that player whether it's from packs from SPCs squad battles for rivals awards uh, drafts You've got all the objectives uh, on the other consoles, so there's a yeah. It's just easier to get those players back into the market. But on the Switch, there's not as many packs being opened from all of those things that we haven't got, and then we've only got SPCs. Uh, a few, if you play draft, that's one way of getting packs, or yeah, just opening packs with coins or uh, FIFA points and stuff. So there's just a lot. There's a the sort of a high demand again when you need those players. But there's not enough of them players on the market so i think it's worthwhile keeping them in your club until they become valuable um, and if it's say like a certain nation a certain league a certain club if you've got a few of them then you can make your coins back there because you've obviously got some to do the spc if, if, if you think it's worthwhile and something you want to do and then you can sell the spare ones on or if you don't want to do it you can just sell all the spare ones on and make the coins in and that's how i've made a lot of coins in previous years on the switch um, especially with the bronze players although they do seem to be kind of nerfing uh, what bronze players can go for and a lot less marquee matchups are sort of bronze player dependent which is slightly frustrating but as you'll see at the start of the video and the end of the video we are still selling loads of bronze stuff from the bronze packs uh, so I mean I'm going to say it again say it every video make sure you're doing the bronze packs after every game or buy at least one sometimes two three uh, and obviously because you're making your coins back a lot it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt your coin balance i don't think it only boosts you up um obviously i don't buy any contracts uh gold silver or just any in general i don't buy any all of them that i use for my players and manager 
all come from bronze pack so it's technically free because then I'll sell all the stuff and make the coins back for the actual purchase price so just majorly worth it but as you can see with these SPCs we're trying to use as many first stones as we got here we've got the Premier League one this was I think was this uh, who was this I can't remember now um, but yeah this one it might have been was it Arsenal who did we have in here uh, can't see on the screen oh that was actually Fenerbahce you had to have was it a Turkish player in this we had Tosin or something but yeah that one again cheap because uh, we've done bronze pack method we could use on a couple of bronze players in there uh, and it's just a massive bonus um, but again like I said any of these that are still live at the time of watching this video if you do need help doing them just pause the video on the screen where I'm showing the, the team and it will show you the technique I've used whether that's the certain players if you want to use those exact players you can do that or you can just use the sort of players in the positions and the chemistry that they're all getting from each other uh, and then implement that on your SPC with some other players and uh, yeah again these sort of these marquee matchups they are a big money maker because you do them any of the packs that have consumables in you obviously you're selling off the fitness selling off the contracts uh, managers you obviously want to keep so you're getting the manager bonuses from the contracts you use if you use the uh, like bronze rare from bronze contracts you get a plus one when you've got the 50 uh, when you yeah when you've got the 50 uh, bonus you get plus one I think it is so that's decent every game you add one of them you get an extra one um, and that soon adds up and as you can see we've we've started to play a few more games in online seasons we're still in div 5 we only uh, the other day it was I played it uh, we had a few bad results a few losses and we just held that division but we're doing better and we should get promoted out of div 5 in this next run and like I say try and if you can let me know in the comments below how you want me to present the gameplay and if you want to see all the games all the highlights uh, and I'll try and figure out a way of doing that I've tried it before but that just adds a lot of time and a lot of editing time to the videos um, so what I might do is just uh, do sort of highlights of every other game or something like that but as you can see there which will be the title and thumbnail of the video we pack our first inform as a series which is very nice and that basically paid for that whole marquee matchups in itself even though he's only a very cheap discard inform that is 10k instantly back so just very nice indeed and uh, yeah we still haven't packed anything great and I'd say he's probably the biggest value player we've pulled so far uh, along with obviously Jota's not far off him uh, when he went for 8.5k and, and uh, yeah like I say you just got to keep churning these out and at some point the more packs you keep opening you're going to get something decent and uh, yeah it's just all good stuff and uh, yeah basically thank you so much for all the support I've got plenty of video, uh, views on the last episode where we've done the League of Nations basic SPC as we pick up a Ryan Brewster there the um, English guy from Liverpool who actually transferred to Sheffield United this season so that's very nice indeed and then now you're going to see the UEFA marquee matchups uh, video the SPCs we got Ajax Liverpool and PSG Man U uh, and these were fairly expensive mainly because of the two numbers you had to have in the Liverpool Ajax game the two number uh, Champions League players and then in the Man U PSG you had to have one rare but apart from that they were fairly easy and uh, yeah like this one we just put together basically a whole team of uh, Liga on players with then the that Caramo and the uh, Danish guy Cornelius there up front and then our UCL where and the third league in that squad was Moussa Morega from Porto but uh, yeah you'll see the uh, the Man U PSG coming up in a second and that one was sort of similar again um, fairly easy to put together and uh, yeah that was it very nice indeed and uh, here are our packs here we again we don't get anything too great but uh, like I say, all stuff into the club, getting that club value up. Um, and this, well, this pack's probably the best one actually. We get a Luke Shaw, as you can see, 
a nice play to pack uh, first owner. We get Tamori who we actually pop straight into the team and we get a first owner Lindelof who we swap out for the one we bought and we do sell him on which you'll see in the next episode and we actually make a nice bit of profit on him about 2k I think so yeah very happy indeed with that but this was lagging like crazy this part of the uh, the packs that's why I've sort of I've had to cut and chop this bit of video up because the servers have been horrendous on the switch and the other console so yeah is what it is but it's very very frustrating as we get a kepa there who's quite nice goes for a couple of k um don't actually end up using him we just keep our guaita because uh, i think he's more well he's just as well rounded slightly less on the stats but obviously with the basic chem style gets a huge boost but he's also six foot three which i think is uh quite a big attribute for goalkeepers is to have that height where kepa's only six foot one and uh, yeah, I definitely think that's important. And uh, there we go as well. In that pack, we pack Brendan Rodgers, who is our first owner, uh, Premier League manager. So that's very nice. We pop him straight in, and he gets the full chem near enough on our team, which is just great. And uh, we can use him. And then, yeah, you're just going to finish off the episode here, seeing a load more sold stuff, um, gold stuff from uh, Marky Matchups, some amazing coins from Mo Silver. Um, items from the silver packs from last episode but uh, yeah just doing really well thank you so much for all the support if you could drop a like on the video a uh, subscribe would be very nice hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when my videos go live and uh, yeah check out all my links in the description below and thank you so much for watching i shall see you in the next one cheers guys